Hello. Uh, my name is Ben. And I'm Tanvi. And we're here at the Ames Public Library with another at-home activity. Uh, and this week, we are talking... About pets. About and I love pets. <laughs> <laughs> we love pets so much that we put pets up on the board in this big, exciting, colorful letters because it says how excited we are to talk to you about pets. Um, there's a lot of different kinds of pets in the world, and if you are thinking about getting a pet, you might be considering lots of different kinds of pets, and you might know people that have lots of different kinds of pets. Um, there's cats, and there's dogs, and there's hamsters, and there's birds, but there's so many more. Like snakes and tarantulas. My dream pet is uh, a capybara, uh, ooh. which is a very large rodent. When I grew up, my household had one horse. I'm jealous. <laughs> There's many, many different kinds of pets that you can consider, and that's why it's important that you really are careful in picking the right pet for you. So what are some things that we can think about when you are thinking about choosing your pet? Um, <clears throat> so I think that the space that you live in is important. Mm -hmm. uh, my husband and I live in a really small house with a very small yard, and so we don't have big dogs because uh, I don't think they would fit in there very well. <clears throat> we also don't have a horse because <laughs> the horse wouldn't fit in the there very well. Horse would not fit in there very well. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, and not just the space for the animal, but you should also consider how much time you have to take care of this animal and how expensive the animal is to maintain because horses eat a lot uh, more than a hamster, for example. Um, you also might want to think about the personality of the pet itself, like what type of animal, uh, what is this type of animal like, and does that fit with you? Um, and then the people that you live with, you know, what sort of pets do they like, and what sort of pets would they be willing to live with? And taking care of a pet is a very serious responsibility. So you wanna be ready to take care of this pet for their entire life. And you need to know how long that probably is going to be. <clears throat> So when we talk about how long pets live, we're talking about their lifespan. And a lifespan is the number of years a certain kind of plant or animal usually lives. And so <clears throat> I've had um, a cat that lived to be eight years old and I had a cat that lived to be 20 years old. And so mm -hmm. in either case, we had to be ready to take care of them for that long. Yeah. Now you have cats, you said. Mm -hmm. How did you get your cats? <clears throat> well, first let me tell you about my cats because I love them and mm -hmm. I love to talk about them. So <clears throat> this is ah. our girl, Dunkle, and she is <laughs> 10 years old. And these two here, the calico in the front is Janie and she's 11. And the tiny little kitten in the back is Billy and he's about five months old. <clears throat> and this is a true story, Billy was actually found here at the library. Yep, so we found Billy um, outside of the bookmobile garage and he mm. was running around. He was just a tiny little kitten and he was crying and crying. And we spent a good long time trying to get him off the street and we finally did. We took him to the Ames Animal Shelter, Ben and I did. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I decided that <clears throat> I wanted him. Mm -hmm. and so we went back and got him. So you can rescue uh, a pet that is a stray. Mm -hmm. You can also go to a breeder whose job it is to uh, sell you pets. Um, or you can go, you mentioned that other option. Mm -hmm. So you can also go <clears throat> to an animal shelter. And an animal shelter is an organization that cares for homeless pets. So <clears throat> Janie was a stray cat living on the street and Dunkel was a cat whose family couldn't take care of her anymore. And we got both of them from animal shelters. Uh, we also got our cats from <clears throat> the animal shelter as well. Uh, we have two. Our youngest is up here. Uh, she's very fun, and her name is Pippi. And our oldest is down here. Her name is Charlie, and she loves to sleep. And play the piano. And play the piano. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so we know that like having a pet is uh, an important and wonderful responsibility for that entire pet's life. Um, how do you keep your pet healthy? Like, what are some things we want to think about in terms of how you're going to keep your pet healthy for their entire lifetime? So keeping a pet healthy is, I think, sort of like keeping a person healthy, right? So <clears throat> they need food and they need water. Um, they need shelter. They need fun, mm -hmm. right? 
So our cats have some favorite toys. They have a favorite banana. They have favorite twisty ties. Billy has some favorite mice. And so we make sure that we have all of those in our house so that they can play and mm-hmm. be active and be happy. And just like, uh, just like you and me, um, it's not enough to just have shelter, food, and uh, space to play and, and happiness. We also want to make sure that they go see a doctor. Mm-hmm. But your pet is not going to go to the same doctor that you're going to go to. They're going to go to... The veterinarian. So a veterinarian is a doctor that's trained to take care of animals. Mm-hmm. Learning so much. Um, <clears throat> now, you have seen these at-home activity videos before, probably. And if you have, you know that we also give you a bag of activities to take home. That's where the name comes from, the at-home activities. You can get them in the library. And this week, we have a bag that is going to help you appreciate animals just a little bit more. Um, so here it is. And because as much as we would love to give you a bag with a pet in it, that's probably not responsible because we want you to have the discussions with your household just like we encourage you to do. So instead, we're going to have a bag that you can use to appreciate animals um, by drawing them. So we've got some pictures of some wild animals. You probably don't want these. No, you don't want to bear as a pet. Mm -hmm. Uh, But you can still appreciate them. through these photographs, and you also have some tips on how to draw them on the back. And you can use these as bookmarks. And we also have in there, just to encourage a little bit of art, you know, a little pencil paper so you can do a little practicing of your own, or even draw your own pets, if you would like. And you can get these at the Ames Public Library. Um, I think that's all we have for this week. I think so. Yeah. So uh, I guess we should You probably see all these wonderful books. When you come into the library, make sure to check out uh, uh, our list of books that are pet related. And you can also look in our catalog for lots of information as you do some thinking about what sort of pet might be best for you. Thanks, Ben. Yeah. Well, we'll see you later.